Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Lori Schulte. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the week of January 13th through the 19th, and you can really feel the temperatures have started to drop out here. But instead of dreading winter, how about celebrating it? And you'll have a chance to do that at Winterfet 2016. Staying in the house all winter long is just not the way to go. You know, we we like being outside anyway, I think, as Minnesotans, and certainly in the wintertime, there's a, there's a whole lot that it has to offer. It's sometimes it's hard to get motivated to get off the couch when it's uh, super cold out, but these this event will get people out. There's so many fun activities and uh, we hope that people embrace that and get on out and, and get some exercise. The 13th annual event will take place from January 23rd to January 31st. This is video of some of the events last year. The week long winter celebration will host things like fat tire bike races, ski jumping, discounted ice skating, bird watching, the ice harvest festival and Pond Dakota Winter History Festival. While these are Winterfest staples, the event grows each year and there's some new things being offered in 2016. Highland Lake Park, which is Three Rivers Park District, is going to be uh, having discounted snowshoe rentals and cross-country ski rentals, so that's exciting. Kind of get people the opportunity to get out and use those two things, especially if they haven't tried them before. We also have uh, the Works Museum, which is located at uh, 98th and Lindale, or near 98th and Lindale, is going to be doing some programming. We also have two new events that are going to be kind of fun where the Isaac Walton League, which is a conservation organization, which has two chapters in Bloomington, is going to be doing open houses at their Bush Lake and uh, Minnesota River Valley chapters. And they're going to be doing nature walks and just general open houses so people and folks can stop by and kind of see what those that organization is all about. For a full list of dates, times and locations of Winterfet events, just head to the city's website and search Winterfet. And if you're looking around curious if we have enough snow for all these events, the good news is winter came right in the nick of time and all events will go on as planned. And while staff with Parks and Recreation wants you to embrace winter, they also want you to look ahead to summer. Applications are now being accepted for seasonal summer jobs. Youth and family and aquatics positions are up for grabs with the deadline of February 16th. Jobs range from camp counselors to lifeguards and office assistants. Once you submit an application, interviews will take place in March. If you want to apply, just head to the city's website. Speaking of looking ahead, you can swing by Creekside Community Center starting January 23rd for free tax preparation assistance. Human Services partners with Prepare and Prosper and AARP Tax Aid. Both programs have income requirements aimed for middle to low income families. People with complex returns are advised to seek paid assistance. Along with the two programs, tax forms will also be available at Creekside for free. For more information, head to the city's website and search tax assistance. Tax day is April 18th. Finally, some sad news. Former Bloomington Mayor Kurt Laughinghouse passed away. He died on December 29th at the age of 76. Laughing House served as mayor in the 1980s. He was also on the Bloomington School Board. The memorial service for this Vietnam veteran will be on January 15th at 1130 in the morning at Fort Snelling Chapel. A luncheon will follow at 1 at Nine Mile Creek Senior Living. That is the buzz on Bloomington today for the week of January 13th through the 19th. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. There you'll find a story on all the work that's taking place on the Old Cedar Avenue Bridge. There's also a piece about state money that will fix the traffic jam at 494 and East Bush Lake Road. Check those out and thanks for watching.